Hello, Rosalind Bliss here, bringing an update on this beautiful fall day. Uh, first, I want to start off by congratulating everyone who was honored last night at the West uh, Michigan Hispanic Chamber Awards. Great turnout for that event uh, where they highlighted incredible people and businesses here in our city. Uh, so congratulations to everyone for that. Uh, it's a really busy time. I feel like my schedule is on overdrive, lots of fun stuff. Just this past week, I was able to be a part of uh, kicking off the 5K for uh, Parkinson's Association. We celebrated Cheese Lady's 10th anniversary with a grilled cheese competition. Pulaski Day Parade was this past week. Uh, just a lot going on and the schedule continues to be busy. So be sure to take a look at the schedule. Many things planned, uh, both downtown and in our neighborhood. So continue to get out and enjoy this beautiful season. Couple things here at the city uh, that is taking up a lot of time. The most important one being the upcoming election. So uh, our absentee ballots are out. Uh, if you are an AV voter, you should have received that by now. If you want to vote absentee, please contact the, uh, our clerk's office. It's a very long ballot. Uh, it's two sides, uh, full on both sides. So we have, you know, obviously the, the statewide elections, but we also have a lot of local elections. We have uh, commissioners who are up for elections, school board members, library commissioners, judges, uh, and then we also have three statewide ballot measures. Uh, so take your time if you have any questions. You know, there's lots of resources out there on the web, uh, or you can call our clerk's office and uh, get additional information. Uh, and then also, if you are voting absentee, you can, and you don't want to put it in the mail, uh, you can drop it at any of our drop boxes located at our libraries, as well as right here at City Hall in the clerk's office. Uh, so a couple other big things. Uh, at our last city commission meeting, we were really grateful to accept a $2.8 million grant. Uh, and this is a FEMA grant that our, both of our U.S. Senators, Senator Peters and Senator Stabenow supported, so I want to thank them for that. Uh, and this grant is going to enable us to hire eight additional firefighters over the next three years as we really focus on safety in our city. Uh, so really appreciate that grant. It goes a long way, um, and I know that they know that. So thank you for that. Uh, we also have our commission night out coming up. So this is our second one. It's coming up on October 18th. It's going to be at the Gerald Ford Academic Center. Uh, doors will open at 5. We'll have some light refreshments. Uh, if you need child care, please reach out to the city. The meeting, the official meeting, will start at 5.30. I'll open up the meeting um, with some initial conversations, uh, and then we'll break into small groups. We'll come back together, the City Commission, at 7, and we'll work through the rest of our business agenda. Uh, so it should be a busy day. On the 18th, we'll have our standing committee meetings in the morning, but then our, our commission night out on the 18th, which is always fun. Um, so a couple just final things. Uh, recently at my Convention Arena Authority meeting, we were reminded that the gold, uh, so if you love basketball, uh, will be playing downtown now at the Van Andel Arena. Their first game will be in November, so we're really excited to have them downtown and to play downtown. So if you love basketball, get out and support them. Uh, they'll have a great lineup uh, and you'll be able to choose a night. You know, one night we'll have basketball and then several nights later we'll have hockey. So it should be a fun time downtown for all of you sports lovers. Uh, and then last, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who came out and volunteered and helped us plant over 200 trees uh, in the Southtown neighborhood. So we had a great two days filled with lots of fun. The weather was beautiful, uh, and we wouldn't be able to do it without the volunteers and the sponsors who helped pay for that event. Also, a big shout out to Friends of Grand Rapids Parks. They help organize that event. Um, I was out there planting trees. It was really a great time to connect with community and to help green up our city and get us one step closer, one little step closer to that 40% tree canopy goal. So with that, I hope you enjoy this fall. Get out, enjoy the season, uh, and I'll see you next month.